Hello, I'm Austin Torres, and welcome to Would You Die, the show where we examine all the villains and monsters of pop culture. Today is a weird episode because I am in my room and not in front of a green screen. Originally, I was planning on doing episodes for May, July, to in October. I'm going to do a few more, make one for June, make one for August. Episode 4 of Would You Die comes out on May 10th. Uh, put that in your calendars if you care. And in the meantime, while I get ready on these uh, actual episodes, I'm going to make these kind of smaller bonus mini episodes. These aren't really part of the show, but just something to put out. So I'm going to do a bunch of villains and monsters from properties that aren't horror. I'm going to pull from comic books, going to pull from fantasy. There's a lot of things that could kill you that aren't from horror. They come from whatever. Let's get into the bonus episode. Today we're traveling to a galaxy far, far away and looking at intergalactic bounty hunter Boba Fett. He's not very spooky, but he is lethal and expensive. Let's find out if you stand a chance. Boba Fett first appeared on the Star Wars Holiday Special before appearing in everyone's favorite Star Wars movie, The Empire Strikes Back. The more you know. Since he's a badass badass who wears badass armors and flies a badass ship and says badass things, He's no good to me, dead. It's safe to assume that Boba Fett is indeed a badass. He has appeared in subsequent Star Wars films, cartoons, books, and video games. And toys. All of the toys. Boba Fett is the son of famed bounty hunter Jango Fett. And when I say son, I mean the unaltered clone of Jango Fett. After watching his daddy get beheaded by Samuel L. Jackson in the worst take your child to work day imaginable, Boba Fett grows up to become the most lethal and feared bounty hunter in the galaxy even becoming the right-hand man for both Darth Vader and Jabba the Hutt. You know you're doing it right when you're working for law enforcement and the mob. Boba Fett even captures Han Solo, and we had to wait until the next movie to get him back. Boba Fett would eventually meet his demise when Han Solo wildly swings some, like, little spear thing into his jetpack, and he, like, flies into the sail barge and, and uh, falls into the Sarlacc, and... What a dumb way to die. He's shown to get out of the Sarlacc Pit in a few Expanded Universe stories. There's so much Star Wars material. It's only a matter of time until we actually see Boba Fett again in the canon. EE3 Carbine Rifle. He can shoot ya. Flamethrower. He can torch ya. Jetpack. He can jetpack ya. Disintegrations. He can disintegrate you. Other weapons. You don't see them in the films, but our boy Boba got concussive rockets, retractable vibroblades, a wrist lasso, darts on his knees, and more. His dance moves. Don't believe me? Just watch. Drop him in a Sarlacc pit and hope he doesn't get out. You don't have a Sarlacc pit, you're probably not going to kill Boba Fett. You do have a Sarlacc pit, drop that bad boy in there. And, you know, hope he doesn't get out because it'll be very bold of you to assume he's dead. Your best bet of surviving Boba Fett is hoping he doesn't have a bounty on you. If you're not worth a lot to him, he probably ain't going to kill you. Based on these results, it appears you have a 100% chance of dying when encountering Boba Fett. Duh. It's Boba F Fett. I plan on doing a few more of these bonus non-horror episodes, but I do intend on starting up the main horror show in May and going monthly from there. Until next time, I'm Austin Torres. Try not to die!